For patients with invasive breast cancer, axillary nodal status has long been regarded as one of the most important prognostic factors, together with tumor size, and has been used to guide systemic therapy and radiotherapy. A new trial evaluated whether surgical axillary staging could be omitted without compromising survival in women with early-stage breast cancer undergoing breast-conserving therapy. This prospective randomized non-inferiority trial included approximately 5,000 women with clinically node-negative breast cancer and a clinical tumor stage of T1 or T2, indicating a tumor size of 5 centimeters or less, with most tumors no larger than 2 centimeters, who were scheduled to undergo breast-conserving surgery. Participants were assigned in a 1 to 4 ratio to receive treatment without axillary surgery the surgery omission group, or to undergo sentinel lymph node biopsy, the surgery group. The primary outcome was invasive disease-free survival. During a median follow-up of roughly six years, the omission of axillary surgery was non-inferior to sentinel lymph node biopsy. The estimated five-year invasive disease-free survival rate was approximately 92% in both groups. Patients in the surgery omission group had a lower incidence of lymphedema, restricted arm or shoulder mobility, and pain with arm or shoulder movement than those in the surgery group. The authors conclude that in patients with clinically node-negative T1 or T2 invasive breast cancer, most of whom had tumors no larger than 2 centimeters, the omission of axillary surgery did not compromise invasive disease-free survival as compared with sentinel lymph node biopsy. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.